smartphone basically attached to your hands with Instagram and Twitter, Facebook, and all those fun apps. There's a, a lot to keep you busy. There's a lot to look at. But all of that tweeting and posting and surfing could cause you to develop a case of what they're calling tech neck. And joining me now is a guy who knows all about it, Dr. Julius Few of the Few Institute. And uh, Doctor, it's always good to have you with us. Thanks for coming Great. in. Great to see you. So I have never heard of tech neck <laughs> before. What the heck? This is a real thing? You know, I had we've had patients come in who complain that they feel their neck has gotten worse or more saggy now that they look at their iPads and, and iPhones and so on more and more. Right. So this is this is the concept that you're loosening the neck tissue just by this kind of repetitive motion of the right. neck. Right. And and that sort of makes sense, right? And your and your neck uh, your neck sort of differs from other parts of your body in terms of the skin there, right? A little bit? Exactly. Yeah. It it differs in a major way because one, obviously it's a collar, so it can stretch and move, but it's also made up of skin muscle and fat and so in some people especially people who have a heavier neck mm -hmm. that can be a real issue okay so you know aside from uh, you know sort of uh, going cold turkey with your <laughs> various uh, uh, you know uh, things that you use every day like like this guy right here that I'm looking down at um, what are you supposed to do so the real reason this kind of came up is this whole idea of selfies you and I have talked about this even sure. on camera taking pictures and the neck often will show rolls Really, the reason why this is such a hot button now is the approval of a product called Kybella. It's the first time the FDA has approved an injectable agent that is designed to melt unwanted fat on the neck. Okay. So that just kind of came up a couple of weeks ago. And now we're really, as, plastic, as a plastic surgeon, we're looking more and more at the neck and ways to, to treat unwanted fat now more than ever. Okay, so that's... That's one way to deal with it. That's one way. And do you think that uh, that will be something folks will seek treatment for? I mean, do you think, is that really one way to go that will be effective? I think forward? it's, we've, we've gotten more calls about this now than yeah. ever before in terms of the neck and wanting the neck to look better, okay. especially because we spend so much time looking down. Right. And so that's a really important thing. The other is, is just loosening of the skin. And I think the reason why this is all kind of coming up is everybody wants to avoid the knife. And so when you look at this, and you look at this increased demand on the neck tissue, looking at ways to kind of treat things before it's an issue is really Got really it. where we're at. That makes sense. So um, here we are now, uh, we're almost to June, and uh, folks are out there enjoying uh, the outdoors, and I think a lot of us need sort of a reminder about protection and sunscreen and things of that nature. And I thought this might be a good opportunity for you to get on your uh, your bully I'm pulpit like and remind <laughs> us about that. This is the, this is definitely the time getting into the summer. Got to look at sunblock protection. The FDA recommends that sunblock is reapplied every two to three hours. That's relatively new as of last year, so it's really important. Right, two to really. three hours. Every two to three yeah. hours, yeah. yeah. So just yeah. to prevent burning and the harmful effects of unprotected okay. uh, sun exposure. And that uh, re reapplication is even uh, more important if you're in and out of the water too, right? Because yeah. oftentimes that uh, whatever you're using isn't uh, isn't sticking with you, right? Absolutely, yeah. and especially okay. for our kids, yeah. that's the big, I mean, you're a dad yeah. like me, yeah. it's really, really important right. to make sure when the kids are in the water, oh. they have a sunblock on. Absolutely, I was always, uh, always really uh, nuts about doing that with the kids, so I appreciate the uh, reminder. Good Absolutely. to see you, sir. Thanks for Likewise. coming by. Great Dr. to see you. All right, we're going to take a break. Up next.